Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to North Country. Today, today we're going to uh, we're going to do a little bit of land improvement. Try to help out our try to help out our bees as well. We're going to be planting some stuff out here in the apiary. Uh, it's it's kind of funny how most most people in their grass in their lawns they try to kill this stuff off, but for our bees, uh, we want to we want to provide a bunch for them. So we're going to be getting some stuff planted out in the apiary. It's early in the morning. We're expecting a couple days of rain coming up. So we want to get this seed on the ground and hopefully it takes and it does its thing, grows, and it just provides a, a, a new nutrition source for the bees. All right, so we'll get in here, get set up, get started, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, what we're planting. So in most lawns across the U.S., people are trying to get rid of this stuff, but today we are going to be planting it. We are going to be planting over 30,000 seeds of white Dutch clover. We're also going to be mixing in a weed, a very unwanted weed, but in this, we want it. We're going to be throwing in another 5,000 seeds of dandelion. This is, uh, this is great for the bees. The bees love the clover. They love the dandelion. So we're just going to spread it out in this area out here in the apiary and hopefully the upcoming water, the rain, uh, helps it take. Now that we have it all in there, we're just going to kind of mix it up, try to get a more even spread on it. I tried to find a big bag of this stuff in the stores, uh, but it's not too common. So I actually went ahead and got these off of Amazon. If you guys are looking for some white Dutch clover or some dandelion seeds, I'll provide a link for you in the description below so that you can get some for your apiary as well. So this has a little adjustment on it uh, and it's how far the gate in there is it going to open up and we're going to move it to its smallest amount so we can get the, uh, the most amount of casting with this thing. This little cedar is, is very handy for what we're doing, we're just doing a small area for it so this thing is perfect. Now we're going to do the apiary, it's all we are going to seed. We have uh, a couple weeks ago we did throw down grass seed and it rained a little bit that evening and then it hasn't rained since so we're hoping that all the grass seed that we've casted along with this uh, provides us with a nice little area in here, nice grassy area full of dandelions and clover.
All right guys, so that was quick and easy. We got all of our seed down. It's kind of hard to see. I actually wound up changing it to the second setting to allow it to come out a little bit uh, thicker. <clears throat> it's very hard to see that seed coming out, but it was, uh, it was leaving. So we have a good cast of seeds all over the apiary. Hopefully they begin to take. We're really trying to improve this area. The bees are doing great. They're coming in and out with lots and lots of pollen. So they're finding pollen sources throughout here. And there are a lot of wild flowers and everything is really starting to bloom right now. But we do want to provide them with um, some extra stuff, make it really easy for them to exist out here. So we do have some flowers growing down here. And you can see here, we've planted some bulbs in the ground that are starting to sprout. These are gladiola bulbs. So we should have a good array of gladiolas growing up right here by their water. We also have this planter over here full of gladiolas. These are really starting to come up. So hopefully one day this entire area out here behind you is just a bee oasis. They've got plenty of dandelion, they got plenty of clover, they have plenty of flowers. We're just gonna continue to improve this area as the years go on and create a cool little happy bee home out here. So guys, that is it for today's video. We will give you updates on this stuff as it starts to pop up. Hopefully it starts to pop up. Uh, like I said, we are expecting rain for the next couple days, so it's a great time to plant this stuff. Temperatures are very warm. So this stuff should take. Thanks for watching guys, we'll catch you on the next one.